The students we have here at Clemson are intelligent and they're engaged and they all are so active in so many different things. You can't put a Clemson student in a box and say they're one particular type of student. They're ready to learn, they're very you know, bright students. They come in and they're curious, they're already creative. They're engaging and they're fun and they're very serious. The students themselves are very much so uh, proactive, so if they see a problem, they want to solve it. We are the College of Architecture, Arts and Humanities, training the leaders of tomorrow to think critically, be creative. Think critically really means to think about the situation and to understand it and how can you apply it in a different way, in a different manner that may be better than what was done before. We want them to expand their thinking beyond what experience has told them. We're constantly asking them to explore ideas, ideas that they don't really fully understand, but if they can start to develop a way of thinking about things they don't understand and get comfortable with that, then we will, when we put them into the profession, they'll be really good and not uncomfortable about, oh, I don't know what to do in this situation. They'll have the capabilities of thinking through that and coming up with good solutions. History, I think, is really the backbone of this idea of, of thinking critically and creatively. What we do as historians is we analyze data, we package that in a way that is understandable for the public. I get them to think critically about some of these challenges. How can you use your talents and skills and um, the knowledge that you're learning from all your different classes to come up with solutions to tackle some of these larger issues that are not just affecting women, but society at large. The creativity part is about working within some of those constraints that we identified earlier, you know, through our critical thinking and through our analysis and working within those. So it really takes a great deal of creativity to work within some very specific constraints. Boasting 19 diverse undergraduate programs from architecture to performing arts, the College of Architecture, Arts and Humanities is a community of students, teachers, scholars, and staff focused on transformative education knowledge development, and creative expression. I think one of the best things about the college in general and my major is the faculty student ratio. Right now I have six students in my class. Um, it's a very personal environment. It's a really good way to learn and grow from other people. It teaches you a lot about your abilities and um, you really learn from others. Almost everything that we do in our college requires collaboration. And so I think there's an appreciation for each other that's really strong within our college. We are a college of makers. We make, we make music, we make architecture, we make landscape architecture. That everyday sort of interaction is the best part of coming in to work every day, is to see what, what new has been created from one day to the next. Our college is very fun in a lot of different ways because we get to work with people who seem like they're completely outside of our realm of who we will be collaborating with um, in general, but the fact that I can go over to Brook Center and you know see what our performing arts students are doing and cherish their work because I get, get to see what they do and that's such a close relationship we have. And we think this sort of diversity of, of intellectual interests provides students with a unique opportunity to grow and to learn and to become members of a, of a global world uh, that really values critical thinking, but also thinking outside the box. The College of Architecture, Arts and Humanities, along with the university's top-ranked center for career and professional development, provides students with multiple avenues for career or graduate school exploration and readiness. One of the things we really pride ourselves is we're a hands-on program. All right, we're, we're training practitioners to work in this business. And so for two weeks, our students did an internship with Worklight Productions out of New York City, helping mount a national tour, learning what it takes, meeting the actors, getting to talk to the producers. So our students in that two weeks had the opportunity to work with people who travel all across the country doing this for a living. I think it's really cool that our department gives course credit for internships, and it's a repeatable credit. So if you have an internship during the year or in the summer, you can take a class and it meets your major requirements. We have two forms of internships. We have a field studies internship, which is where students work in the field, they do construction, they may work at the Botanic Gardens, those kind of things. Then we have professional office internships, and in that case, you have students who work in a landscape architect's office, or an architect's, or a multidisciplinary office. One of the things I think is unique about our mission and our program is we really want to graduate 
like I said, well-rounded performing arts students who are ready to go ahead and jump off and work professionally and or are ready to go on to graduate school to hone in on their skills. So we like to think that our degree separates from this is your tunnel vision of what performing arts really is to boy, it's a much bigger world than that. They want the well-rounded student. They want students that are outgoing, that can engage others easily. They want people that are critical thinkers, creative, and that can communicate in a variety of formats and media. And all of our students can do that at a really high level. I'd say our program in and of itself, because we are very uh, practitioner-oriented, experience-oriented, our students are making those connections and are learning from the people in the field already. They are prepared in ways that make them young professionals, and I don't think a lot of other schools can say that they prepare young professionals. Clemson has this national and even now international reputation for being a great place to learn, a great place to live, and a great place to teach. Uh, so I couldn't be prouder to be here. I wouldn't want to be teaching anywhere else, frankly. This is the kind of school where you have great scholars who do great work, but they're also great educators, right? They connect with their students. They're truly passionate about teaching, um, and you really get the best of both worlds here.